Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And this month promises prosperity and success, and it is eventually gonna move in a direction of increasingly focusing on your place in the world, more worldly matters, if you will, that will expand your horizons. So there's a lot to talk about here. As we start this month though, we're still under the energy of the new moon that took place late last month. That new moon happened in a part of the sky for you that had to do with wealth and it had to do with personal transformation. So matters related to financial institutions and matters related to your own sense of regeneration are very much on the surface in the first few days. It is gonna be right around the 13th, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, that we are gonna have this month's full moon. This full moon happens in a financial part of the sky, but it's a little bit different. It has to do with money you earn and money that you spend. And this part of the sky on a more spiritual level is connected to healthy self-love and self-esteem. And so one thing I love about this full moon is that it is speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter. As we start this month, we've got about two more months to go of Jupiter moving through the very top of your sky, blessing an area having to do with career, social standing, life purpose as well, and your connection to a sense of destiny. So with Jupiter speaking with this, part of the sky connected to income, well, chances are there's gonna be some boost there that can be most welcome. However, what we also have happening with this full moon is that it is connecting to Saturn and Pluto in a conversation of tension. This particular dynamic is speaking to friendships and groups that you belong to and how they may be speaking to, whether it's finances or self-esteem. This is not the time to mix friends and money. Just know if you have it to give, that's great. And if you can give it from a pure place within you, wonderful. However, where it comes to earning money together with a friend, that's where things can get a little bit messy here. I would also add here that sometimes when we go about the business of making money, doing what we need or spending our money as well, those lines uh, can blur between people uh, where it's friendship and where maybe it should be more professional. Well, wherever it is that that blurring has taken place for you, uh, that may show up at this time in a way that isn't necessarily easy. But of course, you will navigate it. It might be just a moment of discomfort here, but it'll ultimately help you to understand your truth. It'll help you to understand what type of relationships you actually want, where it is that you are comfortable sharing finances, sharing money, or giving money and where it is that you'd like to set some healthy boundaries on another level with this energy it can be a time when as a result of your interactions with friends you're looking at what's happening with you on a level of self-esteem and self-worth and whatever opportunity it is that the universe gives you to affirm healthy self-love should be welcomed where it is that you are thinking big picture where it is that you are focused on goals or seeking to align with a higher, more loving vision for your life, you start accessing the higher end of the energy on offer here. Now, as we navigate towards the end of the month, that is when we will have this month's new moon. That new moon is happening in fellow water sign Scorpio. So that alone, I'm so happy about for you because it means that this energy you can tap into that much more and to your advantage. This is a part of the sky for you that has to do with understanding your place in the world, long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters, all of that is covered here, as well as the philosophies that guide your life and expanding 
your philosophical perspective and your world view. Well, Uranus in a part of the sky that has to do with information and communication is standing across the sky from this new moon, which is all about the new and the next, a whole new perspective finding you as a result of the communications and the information that you share with others. For some, this is going to be quite dramatic. This is going to be you realizing that there's a whole other paradigm out there, whether it is a spiritual tradition or other philosophy, it could really change your orientation to the world around you in a way that's significant, in a way that feels like it stays and is deeply meaningful to you. For others though, this energy is going to be a lot more practical and work out in your mundane life. Uh, perhaps a surprise opportunity to travel, uh, perhaps very quick developments on a legal matter. And also if it is that you are in an institute of higher learning, uh, or even if you're not, this can be a time when you decide to go in that direction. But if you're already there, this can bring changes in dynamics on that front, whether it is with something that you're studying or your place within that institution. Something to keep in mind here is that Uranus is about leaping into your future. And with Uranus standing across the sky from this new moon, it is very likely people, your interactions with others, your alignment with others that are part of opening up these new horizons very quickly. And so this can be greater opportunities, certainly. It can be a new personal perspective that in the fullness of time brings greater opportunity. Perhaps in the moment it shows up by surprise and delight and you're happy about what's happening. Perhaps there's a little bit of discomfort that then gives way to greater uh, possibility and greater prospects for you. Regardless, in some way you are stepping onto a bigger stage or stepping into new circumstances that bring you delight and will certainly move you forward. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is going to be about a week into this month that Venus is going to move into this same part of the sky, this worldly part of the sky. And this speaks to an international love, okay? It has to do with love being part of what opens you to more of the world than you knew before. If you are open to meeting someone new, it is very possible that you do connect with someone who either is very different than you've known before, perhaps from a very different place in the world uh, that you know, or someone who has a very different way of understanding the world around them philosophically, perhaps from a different religious tradition. But regardless, it does look like just the insights you need to help you to understand yourself differently. And that in turn can fortify the attraction that you feel. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, uh, this can be this person uh, expressing some beliefs very different than your own or sharing something with you about their journey that you hadn't anticipated that then ends up leading you to look at the world differently as well. Sometimes with this, uh, the philosophical beliefs can be really different and it can have you thinking about whether or not it makes sense or you feel that connection with this person. That's something you'll know right around the middle of the month when Venus stands across the sky from Uranus. Uh, there is that element of surprise like, oh wow, that's what you believe, okay. but. If it is that it, uh, it, it intrigues you that much more, well, as you navigate later into the month, we'll get these beautiful connections with Saturn and Pluto to that Venus, which is a strong sign of strengthening of the bond that the two of you are cultivating now. And for those of you in an established bond, when Venus moves into this part of the sky, there's a desire to take on some adventure together. Now, most couples will start planning a trip of some kind uh, to share the experience. And if you are traveling with your partner now, it does have a really lovely energy to it. However, it is also possible now that your partner becomes intrigued with or wants to explore a new spiritual tradition. And of course, you can't be in any way uh, standing in the way of someone's spiritual journey, someone's relationship with spirit. But it's always up to you to decide what's right for you as part of your journey um, as you are navigating this time forward. But it may come as a bit of a surprise and it may be that your partner now expresses some thoughts or ideas that also take you a little bit by surprise. 
but we do have these beautiful connections with Saturn and Venus and Pluto and Venus, which tells me that there's lots of opportunities here to keep the love that the two of you share strong and moving forward. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is a lot here, but I'm gonna say that new moon at the end of the month, I think that it is so expansive. And this is also part of the sky connected to enthusiasm that in very quick moments you may find yourself welcoming in the opportunity to cultivate your own enthusiasm, whether it is uh, intellectual, whether it is personal, whether it is experiential. In some way now, you are welcoming in the new and the next. It is exciting and exhilarating. And it is just these types of moments that remind you that there's so much more living to do. There's so much more that you are meant to do in this life. And that is part of the fun. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.